Hello everyone, I once again welcome you all to my YouTube channel English Banisa. So students, in this video we are going to discuss degree semester 4, technical vocabulary which you have in your English textbook of unit 3. So in this video we are going to discuss textbook exercises of this technical vocabulary. So before moving further, let us know what is this technical vocabulary. So technical vocabulary generally refers to words and phrases that are used and known mainly in a specific profession or trade. It is a technical jargon which is used by special trade or profession. So in your syllabus you have media and business vocabulary. So now let us see these exercises which you have in your test book. Apart from these exercises you should learn the words which they have given in your reader because there are more chances 99 percent chances that they'll give question from those words only like page number 110 to 111 they have some words you should learn those word also apart from these exercises i'm not teaching that word because already meanings are there for these words in exercises meanings are not there that's why i'm explaining you this so now students let us start our exercises which you have in your test book so the first one is to make an informed choice is to make a dash choice wise or neutral what we should use to make an informed choice so first of all let's see the meaning of this informed choice informed choice is nothing but when someone want to take any decision he will first of all understand all the options available to him uh, means whether it will give profit to him or he will face the risk if he choose means this option or that option so that only call informed choice so this will be your wise choice because the person before choosing any option he will analyze all these things whether he will get profit or loss now neutral is nothing but he will just take it means either yes or no he don't think for anything but here wise choice means he will see all the options available to him now next one the company wants to assess the dash of the age income etc of their customers base now democracy and demography first of all let's see what is assess assess is nothing but evaluate so the company wants to evaluate the dash of the age income of their customers so what should we take in the blank evaluate what democracy no we cannot take democracy because democracy is nothing but it is the control of an organization or any particular group by the majority of its members so that we cannot take because that we cannot evaluate right so demographic we can take here because the meaning of demographic is structure of the population in which they will means see the age income and everything of their customers so the correct answer is demographic now let's see the next one so now the third one is the company's dash is to provide high quality educational service now machine or mission so machine we cannot take because the company's machine we cannot take this the company's mission means the company's goal is to provide high quality education service now next one a white paper is an dash document authoritative or authentic authoritative we cannot take because authoritative means someone is dominating another so authentic we can take which authentic is nothing but which is not copy which is not duplicate original so white paper is an authentic next one dash is the supply of goods a company has for dash sale inversion or inventory so this inversion is nothing but it is reverse of something but this inventory is nothing but stock of something so we'll take this stock of something so inventory is the supply of goods means stock of items now next one when something is on someone's radar it means that the person is dash a pilot or aware of something so what is the meaning of on someone's radar so the meaning of someone's radar is means someone observing everything so what could be the option aware of something someone is aware of everything who is observing keenly observing everything so that is the meaning of on someone's radar you should learn this word along with the meaning because they will give you means these sentences different sentences but these words will be same and those words also which you have in your textbook page number 110 to 111 now let's see the next one 
to hammer out a deal is to dash a deal now it is a phrasal verb what is the meaning of this phrasal verb it means to get success so to get success a deal means our deal should be successful we say no to get the deal successful is to dash a deal what should we do reach a deal or come across so this come across we use in our daily life means see and go come across means just put a glance on anything so we cannot take this one reach is nothing but means to get success so this only to hammer out means reach that means success means complete success next one to accept the first offer is to accept the dash initial bid or first bidding what should we so first bidding we cannot take because it's mean higher price so means to accept the first offer in first offer only we cannot take for higher price right so initial bid initial bid is nothing but written proposal so this will be your correct answer now let's see the ninth one if talks are at standstill it means that there is dash no danger no progress what could be so here if talks are standstill standstill is nothing but without any movement so the correct option will be no progress if no movement is there then no progress will be there so this will be a correct answer no progress if you take ownership of a task it means you are if you take someone's ownership so that means responsible your responsibility you are taking or you are at risk if you are ownership of something so responsible you are responsible for it next one in corporate jargon dash mean things that have to be done action items or act items so act items it's not suitable action items is the correct answer next one if you pay dash it means you pay in advance at the front and up front which is your correct answer first of all let's see the meaning of this both then it will be easy for us to choose the correct one so the meaning of at the front is nothing but beforehand means we are paying beforehand advance so that only if you pay dash it means you pay in advance advance is nothing but this only at the front means beforehand so this will be a correct answer up front is nothing but someone who is frank and honest so this one we cannot take here next one if everyone is dash it means that they are they all agree to a proposal on the board on board what is the answer students you can see only the difference is creating by the article on the board and on board so by this article the meaning is totally changed here so this on the board with article the is nothing but everyone is agree so if everyone is agree it means that they all agree to a proposal so on the board means agree someone is agree on board is nothing but means someone is boarding on a flight or ship so this we cannot take on the board we will take this one on the board next one to get the ball dashed is to start something going or rolling what is the correct answer to get the ball rolling we will take this not going rolling is the correct one which means make something begin to start something next one a dash is one who supplies good vendor or vandal so obviously vendor who supply goods and this what is the meaning of this vandal vandal is nothing but means someone is damaging and destroying something so we cannot take this one vandal the vendor is the correct answer which means seller so student this is all about the exercise one now let's see the exercise two so let's start first one here first of all what you have to do match the words in the box with their meanings how you did first bit first exercise in that way only you will get this exercise also they will give two option you have to choose the correct one the first one a group of associated television or radio channel is called what means associated of group means it is nothing but network so the correct answer is network which is j next one a photographer who follows celebrities in order to photograph them and sell the pictures to newspaper and magazine what is the name of that person what particular name for there this specific person so that is nothing but means this process is called paparazzi so the correct answer is g paparazzi next one the term used to describe sensational news reporting dash so we call it yellow journalism 
so sensational news reporting described by this yellow journalism because this sensational news published in the newspaper because to attract the readers and increase the circulation that is that's why it's called yellow journalism next one a radio or television program where listeners or viewers telephone the studio and participate in the program we call it at phone in like in kbc and all persons telephone and participate in the program that is called telephone in next one a recurring piece or article in a newspaper or magazine is nothing but it is column so this is column f now let's see the next one the use of detective like reporting method to unearth scandals so the correct answer will be investigative journalism so that will be o investigative journalism because the person reporter investigate the matter and they will unearth the scandals means to make known or public means bring light to something that is called unearth scandal now a serial television or radio drama dealing with the daily events in the lives of the same group of the characters that is nothing but daily soap you usually say daily soap but that is soap opera so that will be your soap opera h now the eighth one a shot of person's face talking directly to the camera what is this it will be talking leads that is the l next one a television or radio program in which stars and celebrities are invited to talk informally about various topic like we have seen in coffee with karan their celebrities talk about their life informally that are called talk shows so that is answer e talk show now a article presenting the opinion of the editor or publisher when means opinion is given by some editor or publisher that is nothing but editorial so the correct answer is editorial d a comedy program based on everyday experiences that is nothing but sitcom means situational comedy like kapil sharma show that comedy is based on real life means real life experiences so that is the b sitcom situational comedy next one commercial promotion of a product or service when someone is means giving promotion means promoting their product that is called advertisement ad and advert so the correct answer is c advert advertisement means information leak to determine what the politics reaction will be means here the opposition party will test their oppo opposite party and they will do means they will leak some information that are called trial balloons that is m trial balloons a small printed notice or advertisement that is called flyer a now the dissemination of information aim at influencing the opinion or behaviors of large number of people it's nothing but that is propaganda that is k to influence the large number of audience so students this is all about your technical vocabulary i hope it would be helpful for you stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching